Hi, this is Mark NB8I, and uh, it's July 8th, 2012, and uh, I wanted to announce that the uh, shack is officially completely done. Um, well, it's never going to be officially completely done, but it's like it's operational and we're up and running. Um, first thing, I guess, to talk about is the table I had to build um, with a number of uh, 2x10s and uh, 2x6s. Uh, I created a, a very heavy-duty table. Um, covered with a very nice uh, picnic cloth, but it, it, it works. Anyways, uh, it's strong enough to hold everything that I need. Uh, there's a lot of equipment up there, and I was finding it difficult to find something that was uh, the correct size, so I just built one. Um, the equipment in a nutshell is uh, the Astron um, uh, power supply and uh, the CDE uh, rotor control, which of course goes to the uh, Cushcraft A3S on the 46-foot uh, tower in the back. Um, the Palstar AT2K, uh, fantastic tuner and uh, well-built and uh, very styling too. Um, the centerpiece, of course, is the FT950. Uh, the Ameritron AL80A amplifier, the original, uh, works extremely well. Uh, we also have that running to a 220 line now and uh, that's uh, helped immensely with some issues. Um, the LP pan uh, interface here uh, creates the uh, computer interface uh, via a, um, uh, an M-Audio sound card, the M-Audio Firewire Solo, which is there. And uh, this allows uh, a number of things to occur. Number one, it gives me a pan adapter plus two in independent receivers. Um, if I use the uh, computer output, and I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, this particular block of stuff with the running, uh, with the scrolling uh, information is called the LPB2, uh, Lima Papa Baker 2 software. And what this does is it allows HDR, which is running behind it, for radio control, and also the SDRIF software to run. And uh, it works extremely well. Uh, having the pan adapter is the best thing since sliced bread uh, for uh, just jumping around the band really quick. Um, another piece of gear that I've added in the past day or two um, is the uh, Behringer EuroLive uh, B205D. Now, I use this for my monitoring, but the really cool thing about it is I was looking for a uh, solution, um, you know, since I'm a recording engineer by trade, uh, I was looking for like a you know a really good pair of stereo you know studio monitors and a mixer and having multiple inputs run to it, and uh, I was thinking like oh, this sounds like an RF nightmare like waiting to happen. So uh, the really cool thing about this particular unit that I found is is that um, it has three separate inputs on it. So in other words, I can run a, a line input and two either mic or line inputs, on, and additionally. And uh, it actually has a built-in mixer. It has a level 3, level 2, level 1 for each um, a corresponding uh, input jack. And uh, you can actually blend those through this speaker, which is a 5-inch. It's a very compact unit. It uh, has a 3-band equalizer. Uh, it's shelving. Uh, it's based around uh, the highs are at 12K, mids are at 2.5, and lows are at 100 hertz, either 15 dB cut or boost. Uh, but it provides phantom power if you have a condenser microphone, that sort of thing. And uh, it sounds really good. It works extremely well. And uh, super happy with it. And uh, it actually sounds really good, too. Yeah, bring this up. And... Uh, it's a it's power is 150 watts of uh, output power uh, in a little compact system. It's basically a, uh, <laughs> a portable PA, uh, but it's definitely good enough for ham radio uh, QSOs, and uh, I can really filter out uh, a number of things plus blend a number of sources. Like for example, uh, I can uh, take uh, the stereo output from uh, the uh, Firewire Solo, and uh, I can use uh, two independent receivers off. That particular radio or the off the pan adapter, um, and uh, you know, which the radio obviously doesn't have, uh, but it gives it a second receiver within the pan adapter field. Um, I can also listen to monitor out uh, from the radio uh, instead of using headphones, 
and uh, I can also use the third input which I plan on doing for the uh, uh, the monitor output from the uh, 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 signal link USB interface that I have so it's a really really flexible and uh, powerful little interface uh, and speaker system speaker slash mixer slash EQ um, uh, it probably runs anywhere between 125 and 150 bucks. Any guitar center or any Behringer dealer will sell it, and uh, it's definitely worth the, uh, the the cost of admission. So that's my pick of the week. Anyways, uh, this is MB8I, and uh, I'm going to be clear. Seven threes, everybody, and uh, thanks for following along.